I'm Scott Sander. It's another e-learning day for students at Pike Township School. School bus drivers have made it clear they're frustrated by their hours and their pay. School district says there's no formal work action, no strike been declared, but parents are frustrated. They feel that they're not being informed enough on what's going on, and there's no word whether it'll be e-learning tomorrow or the next day or the next. The beaches at Indiana Dunes National Park are closed because of something in the water of Lake Michigan. U.S. Steel acknowledges something spilled from its wastewater system System, turning much of the water orange in the area. So both the plant and the beaches are shut down for now. Hi, I'm Kylie Conway. As the state of Indiana approaches 15,000 confirmed coronavirus deaths, Mayor Joe Hogsett is visiting Community Hospital East this morning, meeting with healthcare workers who have been hard at work throughout the entire pandemic. And he's also there to encourage rolling up your sleeves and getting those vaccinations. Also, this morning we've been talking about how Senate Republicans did block a bill that would have raised the debt ceiling, uh, essentially keeping the government in operation. Right now, the two sides have until Thursday to reach an agreement. Republicans are saying that the Democrats should push through and raise the debt ceiling on their own, blaming them for not wanting to come to a bipartisan agreement on the $3.5 trillion spending bill. So certainly a story we'll be watching for you. Hi, I'm Drew Blair. Happening today, American military leaders will face sharp questions from Congress. Lawmakers will hear from Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin, General Mark Milley, the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, and General Kenneth McKenzie, the head of U.S. Central Command. This is all about Afghanistan. They're set to appear in front of the Senate Armed Services Committee. And the topics include the failure to anticipate an immediate Taliban surge, the chaotic evacuation of Americans and allies, and the bomb blast that killed 13 American service members. Health experts are giving guidance on when to get your flu shot. That season is quickly approaching. An infectious disease expert, Dr. Anthony Fauci, says that if you can, go ahead and get the flu shot and your COVID-19 booster at the same time if you're eligible. He says Americans should do both as soon as you can and make it as most convenient. If you need the flu shot in one arm and the COVID shot in the other, he said that is perfectly fine. Of course, right now, booster shots are only approved for the Pfizer vaccine right now and for certain groups of Americans. Americans.